everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Astronomers studying images of a nearby galaxy have discovered a new supernova. Students at University College London discovered the supernova in galaxy M82, also known as the Cigar Galaxy, which is approximately 12 million light years from our own Milky Way galaxy. Here's an image of M82 prior to the appearance of the supernova. And here's an image of M82 after the appearance of the supernova, that bright white spot just below and to the right of center of the galaxy. It's been over 20 years since a supernova has been discovered this close to Earth. Next up, geneticists studying the 7,000-year-old remains of a human male found in Leon, Spain, have released an image of what that man may have looked like, offering us a glimpse of the appearance of European humans from the Mesolithic period. By studying the genome of the remains, researchers at the Spanish National Research Council and Denmark's Center for Geogenetics determined that the man had blue eyes, a common European trait, and a darker, typically African, skin pigmentation. Despite the dark complexion, the study suggests that this man, dubbed Labrania 1 after the site where he was discovered in 2006, is most closely related to modern humans living in northern European countries, such as Sweden and Finland. And finally, back to outer space, where a quasar is shedding some light on the large-scale structure of the universe. The quasar is called UM287, and it's located around 10 billion light-years from Earth. Astronomers at Keck Observatory discovered that it sits in the middle of a nebula that stretches approximately 2 million light-years into intergalactic space. Not only is it by far the largest nebula ever found, it also shows signs of a filamentary structure, and that is very interesting. Astronomers have long theorized that galaxies are connected to each other by an immense material construction, a network of gas filaments reaching from one galaxy to the next. This quasar and the massive nebula surrounding it represent the first direct visual evidence that such a cosmic web exists. Astronomers discover a new supernova in another galaxy, an ancient genome reveals how European humans looked seven millennia ago, and a distant quasar gives us our first real look at the wispy web of matter that binds the galaxies together. That's the good news. Don't you feel silly for being so grumpy?